Around the nation, the trial against President Biden's son, Hunter Biden, is back underway today with prosecutors calling more witnesses to the stand. Many are women from Hunter's past. Hunter Biden is facing three felony gun charges. His family in court once again today to support him. ABC's Rena Roy has what jurors learned or heard, excuse me, from his ex-wife and an ex-girlfriend. Prosecutors calling multiple witnesses to the stand in their case against Hunter Biden as they try to prove to jurors that he illegally purchased a Colt revolver in October of 2018 while he was allegedly addicted to drugs and lied about his addiction on a federal form. Ex-wife Kathleen Buell telling jurors about their 25-year marriage, which ended in 2017. She says their relationship deteriorated because of his drug and alcohol addiction. She testified that when he was on drugs, he was not himself, angry, short-tempered, acting in ways he wouldn't when he was sober. But on cross-examination, telling the defense that she never saw him use drugs. An ex-girlfriend of Hunter's then testifying that she met him in late 2017 and saw him use crack every 20 minutes or so over the course of their months-long relationship as late as September 20th of 2018. Whether Hunter was an addict at the time of the gun purchase is the critical question in this case. Defense lawyer Abby Lowell told jurors evidence will show he was using alcohol at that time, but not drugs, and that the form was confusing. They say he had just gotten out of a 12-day rehab program before purchasing the gun. The gun shop employee who sold Hunter Biden the revolver also taking the stand, saying he was about two feet away from Hunter when he filled out that federal form, testifying that he didn't seem to express any confusion by the question that asked about drug use. Prosecutors also showing the jury the gun he bought. On cross-examination, an FBI agent testifying that several photos prosecutors showed the jury of drug substances and what appeared to be a crack pipe were taken months after the gun purchase. The FBI special agent also testifying about text messages and cash withdrawals that prosecutors say prove Hunter Biden was using drugs when he bought the gun, but the defense says only two messages alluding to drug use occurred during October of 2018 and that the rest were before the gun purchase or months after. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.